Good morning, folks. Today we've got potential game-changing news, one of them mature invested and the other of considerable promise. We've got weather in the lithosphere as well. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. Behind the easily visible northern coronal hole is a thinner dark rope, large plasma filament incoming, and with no sunspots or solar flares, it'll take the top eruption threat watch today. Solar wind remains calm, but the density of the stream and magnetic characteristics are providing a touch of pressure, keeping the KP up off the floor this morning. Still not sure if this exiting coronal hole was at low enough of latitude to affect Earth. You'll see behind it we've got some new dark patches incoming as well, all apparently part of that northern polarity opening system. Top lithospheric note today is yet another volcano erupting in Kamchatka. This one is spewing ash a few miles into the sky and luckily is very, very isolated on the eastern peninsula of Russia. We've had lots of reasons to discuss cold recently, but Kenya is now going the other way, gearing up for a historic heat wave. They expect very deadly conditions there the next few weeks. Folks, we have heard about the ICON and GOLD satellites and how they plan to watch the ionosphere of Earth to learn about our interaction with space. Well, the ICON in situ craft will get some interesting data sampling, but it is the gold craft that interests me the most. I've long said that Earth science will change the moment they point a version of the SDO at Earth. Well, the SDO is that solar ultraviolet imager in different wavelengths that we show in pretty colors every day, and the gold craft will study the ionosphere in ultraviolet. I think they're going to get a lot more than they imagined. They may end up using this to forecast earthquakes. As awesome as that will be, cosmologists are praying someone debunks this new paper describing the reality of star formation. It upends most of their lives. It upends much of the existing models to have such a high rate of massive stars formed instead of smaller ones, providing three times the chemical abundance, 70% more supernova, and up to four times the ionizing radiation produced by the stellar population compared to what was believed. This changes galaxy rotation, dark matter, the cosmic web, the age of the universe, everything. Folks, you'll see all the weather at the end, but as the U.S., Europe, and New Zealand storms all begin to move on today, it is Madagascar beginning a deadly onslaught. If you pray or produce positive energy, they need all of it right now. Folks, if you didn't see yesterday's video about all of your free resources, it is linked below website members with this year's deeper look episodes we cracked the 500 videos mark on the website anyone who wants to win signed copies of both my book and my wife's children's book can enter by watching our video from a few days ago called raise the standard and copying the message at the end also typed out below the video and then posting it on social media tag us in the post we'll pick a winner for the two signed books later tonight We've got those wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.25 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>